impressive win for us tonight and you must be absolutely delighted what way to end phase one yeah, I'm so proud of the boys. Um, tough, tough game against a very good side. You know, first defeat in 20 something games for them, isn't it? Over 90 minutes. So uh, to beat the second team in the league is, is a great achievement, and you know, just gives the boys a bit more belief in themselves, really. Because when we apply ourselves and work hard and win headers and tackles and block shots, then they'd be surprised what you can get out of a game. And that's what we've had to do, especially late on in the game, because um, you know, th you know, we were tired in then. But yeah, three points against against Connors Key is, is a great achievement, and uh, we're happy with that. We move on now, ready for Carnarvon next week. Yeah, a performance that showed sort of all parts of our game. Our first half was very good, attacking wise. Second half, we were always going to have to dig in, but even then, it was there was lots of promise, and we were we were happy to go forward as well. So it was a real overall performance. Yeah, you know, you know, we're a team that likes to get the ball forward and 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 use our pace up front to cause teams problems. You know, I thought we were very good when we lost at TNS a few weeks ago. Um, you know they, they scored their third goal very late in the game, and we were in that game for long periods. So, you know, it was important that we bring that performance to tonight and, and moving forward for the last ten games of the season. Um, and if we do that, then we'll give, our chance of, let's give ourselves a chance of finishing as high up the table as possible. Yeah, you mentioned the uh, current keys unbeaten record, which has just ended now the first league defeat since September. Yeah. Um, not only that is impressive there so in terms of goal scoring. Like it's only the third time this season tonight they've conceded two or more. So. It's a not hard team to, it was a very hard team to score against and we've, we've looked very dangerous tonight against them. Yeah, I think they've kept six clean sheets on the bounce uh, in all competitions. So, you know, something we said half time to the boys, you know, who scored two goals against a team that doesn't concede and it shows how we can be dangerous at times. Um, obviously, Elliot goal, Elliot's goal is a, is a great strike and then, you know, Henry, Henry wins a penalty and Jordan puts it away. So, give us something to hold on to and give us something, you know, I think we did have opportunities second half on the breakaway and we just need to be a bit more clinical with those and be a bit more tidy and don't rush things but listen, everybody's human, we make mistakes and um, you know, sometimes the lads are just uh, over keen to, to, to finish things off but um, if we show a bit more composure, which we can do and which we see them doing in training week in week out, then um, we're a good footballing team. Obviously, as I said, we knew we had to dig in second half and that's how it was but it wasn't wasn't just that they seemed like the lads sort of embraced it as well, which is good to see. And they sort of really, yeah, they embraced it, and it was, it was good. Yeah, early in the season, games like that, we lost. You know, we lost lost away at Connors Key one 0 to a set piece that was from 40, 50 yards out. And second ball, um, Newtown beat us here early in the season. Similar sort of um, efforts on goal from set pieces and, and balls forward. So we've got better at it as the season's progressed, and, and you know we've got to keep doing that. We've got to keep improving on the areas that we've uh, struggled at this year. And you know the lads are definitely, definitely listening, definitely taking things on board. And um, you know, long may that continue. Yeah, obviously as we know, phase one's been pretty up and down, and but I guess nice to show what we're really capable of in the last game of phase one tonight, and we really set it up for an exciting phase two now. Yeah, we, listen, our inconsistency has cost us really this year. Um, you know, we, we've been in games, especially away from home. You know, at home, what we've won six, drawn two out of 11. Our, our home form has been, been pretty solid. Um, lose to TNS, lose to Bala with 10 men and, and lose to Newtown. Um, away from home, we haven't been good enough. You know, there's too many games that we've been in, um, ends up losing where, you know, we should be taking at least a draw away from games. but. Hopefully we learn from that going into the, the second phase now and, and we pick more points up away from home because if, if we want to finish seventh, we've got to do better away from home than we have been this season so far. Yeah, so we have a break now this weekend and then it's back to uh, we'll start phase two a week after and it's against Carnarvon first up, which is looks to be our, well, definitely our main rival for sure for seventh, but it's an interesting game first up. Yeah, listen, I think it's, there's, there's five teams all vying for that seventh place um, and we know how tough it's going to be because um, we've had tough games against all five of those so far this season already. So um, we know how tough it is and how much we've got to do if we want to finish anywhere near seventh place. And that's my aim. That's the boys' aim and the club's aim. And uh, you know we'll do everything we can to, to try and achieve that. And just off the field today, um, there's been obviously transfer deadline there. We brought in Jack Leahy from Cardiff. Um, seems to have gone down well with fans and uh, an exciting talent. And someone who's going to offer us a good attack and threat in, league in our phase two now. Yeah, you know, I just said on the TV now that you know we need all our bodies. It's a tough, tough running. Um, I know we've had injuries all season. We know that, um, but we need as many bodies back fit and competing for places as we can. When we, when we've got everybody available, then I've got a hard job to pick a team. Um, there's already boys who are, who are not happy that they're not playing, and, and I wouldn't expect them to be happy sitting in the stand or sitting in the dugout. But uh, when they get opportunities, it's their opportunities to prove me wrong and keep the, their self in the team. And um, Jack will come in and compete with other people in the position he plays in. 
and um, it'll just give us another body in, in the attacking third of the pitch.